Vision Titan. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. And now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. More than five years apart with the same height and a similar reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer. Making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Grandmaster. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, 4 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Superboy, Doho Choi. UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. Inside the world's most famous arena, and we are back at Madison Square Garden tonight. Should be a good Who gets that shining moment in the world's greatest arena? I experienced it. I know how to do it. To walk out of that octagon at MSG with a championship. Will you get that moment tonight? That yes, knee lands there. That knee hurt him. Oh, Superman. Which is good. You can tell he's been working on that. The Korean Superboy gets hit by that leg kick. What a punch. Straight right hand counter. Useful. Choi's uppercut to the head. That one, though, blocked by the defense. Counters with the left hook. Nicely done there. Oh, and he 
it lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, nice job to block the kick. Just over three minutes to go round one. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Very nice leg kick there by Choi. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Just missed. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on Beach Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's gonna do to stay in this fight. Choi's kick is blocked. Ooh, big knee. Right here. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh! Single collar tie now. Just misses with a left hook there. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. It's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you've got to make sure you don't eat too many more of those. You cannot eat too many. You've got to get the elbows inside. Otherwise, it's going to land one, and it's going to shut everything down. Over and over, he land big body kick. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Tried to go... His opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. Nice strike. Two punches true. Choi's got the tie clinch now. And he caught the kick. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Just out of the range with that right hand. You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most stiff on all of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. All right, so a lot of highlights over those previous five minutes. DC, take us through the replay if you would. A lot of good action, but punching led the dance. Punching was the thing that stood out to me. That allowed him to take control of the round. by that kick there. Big head kick. That is a stiff jab. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Trying to do damage now with the kick, that's a miss. Massive head kick. Oh, that's a 
as good a punch as he's thrown on him. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the ones that land perfect, and that one landed perfect. Misses with the right hand. Good punch. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Punch over the top. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Slips the shot. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Wow, a little single collar tie there. Look at how he drives his knee right into his opponent's midsection. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. And they separate. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked. The hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. He loaded up. Oh! He's got it right here. here in round two, much well! He's in trouble, he's hurt bad. more than content to walk off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Ground and pound strike there now. Gets up again here, but hurt. And he connects with a the punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing. Boxing, boxing. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single close. And just like that, the fight is over. Wow! Wow! Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, seven seconds of round number two. Going the winner by knockout and still. So heavyweight title retained is the headline inside this arena here tonight. Congratulations to the still heavyweight champ. Uh, once again, proven he's the elite.